Alright, in this video what I want to talk about are analog inputs and how we can use them to control outputs using a Micrologic 1400 Allen Bradley PLC. So I have wired up a analog input going to I colon zero dot four on the Micrologic 1400. And you can see right here there's already a decimal value in there of 447. Now that value is representing roughly one volt. Watch what happens to this memory location as the voltage increases coming from our analog input. As I turn up the voltage the value in that memory location changes. Okay, and now the resolution on this input is 0 to 4095, which I will get to once I get to 10 volts. So it goes 0 to 4095, and those numbers represent a 0 to 10 volt analog signal. So some flow meter or strain gauge or ultrasonic sensor or temperature gauge will be able to send out a 0 to 10 volt signal to the PLC and the PLC will interpret that as a value in its memory location that can be used for control. As you can see here, I've created a program using the, a compare instruction, the greater than or equal to, and I have put my source A as that analog signal. So let's say this is coming from a strain gauge, and at 1000, which would represent, let's say, 100 pounds, our output's going to go off. If I put 200 pounds on the strain gauge, let's say that strain gauge will send a signal that would represent 2,000 and if I have a uh, 300 pounds on there it represent 3,000. Now what these values represent there are so many factors that determine this including the uh, type of signal uh, the PLC you're going to and the signal that the strain gauge gives out and what its resolution is. Okay so we're making some broad assumptions here but let's watch how I can actually control these outputs on the right hand side of my program as my voltage goes up from my strain gauge uh, is what I'm using this to represent. So I get to over a thousand and that output comes on. Then as I get closer to 2000 nothing's happening until boom my second output is activated. Okay, and then I keep going. Once I get closer to 3000, which I think we said represents 300, our third output goes on. In this way, we can actually use an analog input to control discrete outputs using the PLC. And this is just a quick introduction on how analog inputs work and how they can relate in RS Logix 500 to the real world. And again, this is just an introduction, so I hope this gave you some idea of how an analog signal integrates into a PLC. Thanks for watching.